Ah, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. A blast from the past, one of the best games I've played all year, and a million times better than the rubbish that is Breath of the Wild. Anyway, you're probably not interested in that. You want to know how I got this game into the video description. Let's find out. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. To do this for any video you have already uploaded to YouTube, on any YouTube page, click on your profile image in the top right hand corner of the screen and go to the YouTube Studio. This is the new YouTube Studio and from here you want to go to the video section from the navigation panel down the left hand side. Next, click on the video you want to edit and then click on the advanced tab at the top of the screen. Halfway down this screen you will see a categories option. Click on this to list all of the available categories and select gaming. When you do this a new field will appear to the right and this is where you can type in your game title. The field will auto-complete if the game is in a database, so type it out, click on the correct title, and don't forget to save. I just love playing this game. So nostalgic. I could see myself playing this one for hours on end. Oh, I've just finished it. That didn't take very long. Anyway, if all things have gone right with your video description, it should look something like this. The title and box artwork of the game will be displayed at the bottom of the viewable description. If you click it, you will be taken to the auto-generated YouTube channel where you can view more videos from channels who are making content on the game. When viewing a video through the mobile YouTube app, it does work a little differently in that you have to expand the description before you can see the game title and artwork. Now if you want to set the game title when you are uploading a video, in the new YouTube upload workflow, which is currently in beta at the time of recording, you will find YouTube categories on page 2 in the advanced settings and it works in exactly the same way. Choose gaming as your category and search for your video game. With all that said and done, is this guaranteed to get you more views? Eh. Let's be clear about one thing, this is not a cheat or a hack or a game unlock, forgive the pun. It's not going to immediately give your video more exposure, more views, more subscribers, more health, more experience, unlock weapons and that type of thing. No, I'm afraid not. But it's certainly not going to harm your video. If you give YouTube as much SEO as possible, it will help identify your content and potentially serve it up to the right audience. The fact that it goes into the auto-generated YouTube channel is enough of a reason to do it as it only takes a couple of seconds. Oh, and if YouTube's biggest gaming channel does it, that being PewDiePie, you should probably follow suit. And if you want a lot more help pointing you in the right YouTube direction when it comes to keyword research, video analytics and channel improvement tools, make sure to grab vidIQ. It is free to download and there is a link in the video description. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more specifically about the topic of YouTube categories, we have a video over here. But if you want to see our full beginner's guide playlist, we've got all the videos down there. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your video making day. Oh, and someone out there agrees with me, don't they? Breath of the Wild is rubbish.